Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Brownells BRN9 upper receiver. All right, so before we get started and jump in, um, talking about the BRN9 upper receiver, I'm gonna go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, this is the first ever Brownells video where I have worn a t-shirt, all right? So we just came from the range with this thing. Uh, so it's hot outside, I was wearing a t-shirt. You guys are gonna have to get over it. Just be glad my hair's done. All right, so the upper receiver itself here. Move this out the way. So we, we did do this video already. We did the BRN9 product spotlight, uh, but we had a pistol brace on it and YouTube and the AFT and everything, they, they all lost their mind. So uh, we SBR'd it. So yeah, now, now it's an SBR. So anyways, moving on from there, what we're looking at here is this upper receiver. This is the Brownells BRN9 upper receiver. So let me, uh, let me just take it off here so you can see what you get. So what you're gonna get minus the muzzle device and actual foregrip is what you get when you purchase the BRN9 upper receiver. And if the name hasn't already given it away, this is a nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine upper receiver. Everything's contained in the upper. You don't need a buffer. You don't need a buffer spring. You don't need to do the whole nine millimeter buffer tuning thing. Um, that's always a pain because everything's already good to go. Now the charging handle itself, as you can see, we have it set up on the right side. It can be easily swapped over to the left hand side and it is non-reciprocating, all right? So whenever we did the first video on this thing, uh, we showed some B-roll from the range and like uh, the, there were 50 bajillion comments saying, Caleb, you're dumb. This is obviously reciprocating in the video. Uh, no, it's not. And to prove that point, I shot it with my thumb against the charging handle. Uh, so what happens is under recoil, the charging handle does bounce a little bit, but it, it, it's not connected to the bolt in any way. So it is non-reciprocating. Uh, so I'll just address that right there. And since we had to redo this video and uh, this has been out for a little bit now, there are some common, I'll say common issues, um, common questions more so uh, that have come up with it that I'll go ahead and address here as well. Uh, first being compatibility with lower receivers that use Colt feed ramps uh, for the barrels. So, or the Colt feed ramps for the, the lowers. So yes, this will work with Colt lowers. It'll work with um, Glock lowers like we're using here. It'll, it'll work with a, a wide variety of lowers, so like MP5 mag lowers. It, it works, it's made to work with all that stuff. So you can use whatever mag pattern lower you want with this thing uh, to an extent. You can use most of them. All right, so the issue people were having with those, uh, like for example, uh, one of them came up, somebody was trying to put it on their, uh, their PSA, Palmetto State Armory lower that takes, uh, that has Colt feed ramps and the bolts wasn't going all the way into battery. Um, that's just a case with the Palmetto lower. Uh, you, you could easily modify this bolt to work with that lower, but I mean, that's, that's not a, that's not an upper issue. That's more of a lower issue. Um, not saying that the Palmetto makes a bad lower there. They make excellent lower receivers. That's, that's not, not on them. It's just not going to be a hundred percent compatible with everything when you're trying to make, there's so many different manufacturers that have so many different specs out there. Um, we tested it with other Colt lowers and it works just fine. So, uh, there's that for you. All right. There was an issue with certain mags and certain lowers. The, uh, the bolt was kind of eating into the follower on the magazine. Uh, that again is more of a lower receiver issue. It was just seating the magazine too high. Or if you're using a cheaper brand magazine that has a follower that rides high, um, that was the issue as well. So what's uh, Matador, the company that makes these for us, uh, what they ended up doing was adding a more of a chamfer to the bottom of that bolt. Uh, so that's, that eliminates a lot of those issues. So that's not really an issue either. Um, or I'll say it was, it was an issue if you were using cheaper components. Now it's, it shouldn't be much of an issue at all. All right, and then the last thing was people saying that it's not working with their 
9 millimeter pistol caliber carbine ejector, which is this piece right here. If you have a 9mm PCC, it's going to be right there. Um, with this, so this is the Aero Precision EPC9. I highly recommend this lower receiver if you want to do this build. It's awesome. It works great. Uh, with a lot of them, a lot of lower receivers, and this goes for any 9mm pistol caliber carbine, not just this. You do have to adjust this ejector a little bit uh, to make it work with whatever upper or bolt carrier group you're using. That's just, that's part of using a pistol caliber carbine. Uh, maybe that's a future video. We'll show you how to do that. Um, but that's not an issue. It's a, I'll say, I, I mean, no offense, but it's a, it's a skill issue. Uh, but no, I, I'll, I'll uh, we'll do a video in the future, show you how to do that, but it's easy. You just basically bend the ejector, make sure the front's square. Um, and when I say bend it, I mean, bend it so that it's not rubbing against the bolt, but it's close enough close enough to the bottom uh, where it's going to still eject the round. It's super easy to do. All right. And that was all the common questions on this thing after we released it. So uh, let's continue on and kind of talk about it here. So as I mentioned, it does come with the thread protector. It will not come with this muzzle brake. Uh, the barrel is threaded half by 28. And what I'm using right here is the VG6 Precision uh, Gamma 9 millimeter. All right. So this is important because 556 muzzle brakes are also threaded half by 28. This 9 millimeter is threaded half by 28. Do not put your 556 muzzle device on this gun. The hole, the exit hole for a 9 millimeter is larger than a 556. Um, so yeah, don't do it. Use a 9 millimeter specific brake or muzzle device or whatever and you'll be fine. So. Uh, yeah, moving on from there. We'll do a full breakdown video on this thing again. Um, show you how to disassemble it, clean it, you know, round count, spring replacement, all that stuff. Uh, you have a brass deflector right here. And I was shooting this thing left and right handed. Didn't have any issue. Brass didn't even come anywhere close to me. So um, it works just fine. And you have full length pick rail. It goes across the top. And the actual receiver itself... Uh, it is machined out of full one-piece billet aluminum, and then your bolts and barrel and um, lugs and everything are all kind of built into it. It doesn't take standard AR barrels. Um, obviously, there is no gas system. It is blowback operated. I did mention that before. Uh, it uses a proprietary barrel, and it uses kind of like a barrel nut that goes in and secures it. Uh, and the feed ramps are kind of looking at the feed ramps here. The feed ramp itself, the cone, is pretty generous. I ran different brands of ammunition through it. Uh, we shot the heck out of this thing and didn't have one hiccup. It works great. So if you're using uh, like the endo mags or something like that, if you want to use a standard AR-15 lower and use the, the endo mags, which is a magazine that fits 9mm, uh, those will work great with this. Those will work just fine. I uh, also tested it with a... Uh, Colt mag lower shot some Colt mags through it didn't have any issues worked great and uh, Yeah, so this is the BRN 9 from Brownells If you have any questions or comments, uh, you're watching this on YouTube feel free to post them down below If you're watching this on the website, the product is linked below the video uh, So feel free to give us a call on the tech line if you need any help. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time